Bart's in the London School of Medicine and Dentistry is a fantastic place to study. We've got world experts in their areas of research, and particularly in, in cancer research, in stem cell research, in cardiovascular research. And coupled with that, we're located right in the heart of London. We've got two main campuses of the medical school. One's in Charterhouse Square, which is just round the corner from the Barbican, and the other's in Whitechapel, which is a thriving area of London with so much happening in it. We have such excellent people here. Our research spans dentistry, medicine, uh, the biological sciences, the physical sciences, even working out of here with industry and I think that's you know a huge plus for students and that's been the plus that made us the best in the UK. There's been enormous investment in in research personnel over the last few years uh, there's some really top people here people with with FRS etc and this is reflected in the recent uh, research assessment exercise which has put Queen Mary right at the top with the, some of the big uh, medical schools uh, such as Imperial, Oxford and Cambridge. So we really are doing very well at the moment. So the, the Blizzard Institute of Cell and Molecular Science is a state-of-the-art building that's been open now for a couple of years. And within this building we have, you know, centres for clinical research, neuroscience, infectious diseases, gastro. So there's a huge core gathering, probably over 400 scientists working on all aspects of, of, of cell and molecular biology of disease. And so it's probably one of the most you know, inspirational buildings that you can work in in London now. These are exciting times. We are building up to the Olympics and above all to the post-Olympics. The Olympics is just the, the peak that everybody will be exposed to, but in reality we are building up for something that will happen well after the Olympics and hopefully for a whole generation of sports and exercise physicians. Uh, our graduates have progressed to becoming chief medical officer, for example, of the Athens Olympics with Nikos Maliaropoulos. Others have stayed at home. Simon Kem has become the uh, doctor of the rugby union. Ian Beasley is the present doctor of the English football team. Um, Brian English is the doctor of, uh, um, of Chelsea Football Club. What's also great about our particular institute is that we have a, a very strong collaborative um, ethos. So my own research is very focused, but actually by collaborating with lots of my colleagues in the institute, I've been able to extend my research into fields that I would never normally have gone to. Uh, generally speaking, a PhD student will have two PhD supervisors. Um, they tend to offer an open door policy where you can go along whenever you want to speak to your supervisor, either by phone, email, or you can just knock on their door. And they, if they're available, obviously they'll, they'll see you. Um, there is also more structured um, meetings which they'll set up, which is negotiated between you and them, um, possibly weekly or monthly. Uh, while the students are studying, they can come and see us for any help that they might need with letters being produced for visa purposes or for scholarship purposes. Our office also monitors the annual performance to make sure the students are progressing well on their studies. We can help them with council tax certificates. We organise the PhD examination, contact the examiners and send out the thesis. The Institute of Cancer has about 300 people all working on molecular solutions to cancer. It's a great place to work, great social life, very collaborative between the different centres in the unit. We have lots of activities unit-wide and centre-wide. And we're also very close to the hospital where we have an experimental medicine set up so we really can truly translate what we do into clinical trials.